stop the one from Caldwell, Mr. Speaker. Moved passage of House Bill 300 as amended by House Floor Amendment 1. Motion makes a adoption of House Bill 300 as amended. Is there discussion? Chair, seeing none, Mr. Clark, sound the chime. Those are paid. Adoption of House Bill 300 as amended. We'll see if I'm voting yay. Those opposed, nay. And the roll call machine is open for your voting. All members voted. Any member wish to change or explain their vote? All members voted. For protect the roll, roll call machine is on 99 members voting yay. No members voting nay. House Bill 300 is adopted. Gentlemen from Caldwell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to object. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to be clear of the House Concurrent Resolution 109. Can you take this place? The order's day every third time. It's time to sponsor it. Mr. Speaker, House Concurrent Resolution 109. Can you take this place? The order's day every third time. It's time to sponsor it. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to be clear of the House Concurrent Resolution 109. House of Care Resolution 109, a concurrent resolution urging the next mayor of Louisville, Jefferson County Metro Government, to appoint a study group to evaluate the effectiveness of consolidated local government in promoting efficiency in government. Representative Clark. Gentlemen from Elliott. I deal with the gentleman from Jefferson 46 for explanation. Gentlemen from Jefferson 46. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I find it shocking that every member of Jefferson County signed this resolution so we're together on an issue that today I have to say. <laughs> but all this, this is a resolution on the case of newly elected mayor 2011, the newly elected federal council, state reps, and state senators to review the 10 years of our consolidated government and come back with recommendations to have legislation to improve the efficiency, financing, and delivery of service instead of having two or three piece of piece legislation each session. This has been signed close by all the members of Jefferson County's delegation. If there's no question, I move for the adoption of the House Current Resolution 109. Motion and say the adoption of House Current Resolution 109 is for discussion. Chair seeing that Mr. Clark stand the challenge. So it's a favorite adoption of House Current Resolution 109. Proceed to 5 voting yay. It's closed nay. Motion on three voting. Any member wish to change or explain their vote? If all members voted. Start to take the roll. Roll call machine showing 97 members voting yay, no members voting nay. Current House of Current Resolution 109 is adopted. General Jefferson. Move for the clincher, Mr. Speaker. Picture without objection. Gentlemen from Elliott. Speaker, I move you, sir, that House Bill 321 be taken place the order today, November 3rd. Time is time to sponsor only in place. Phones pass. Most face at House Bill 321 be taken place the order today, November 3rd. Time is time to sponsor only in place. And for the phones. Proceed to have a vote yay, those opposed nay. Roll call machines open. With all members voting, any member wish to change or explain their vote. All members voting, clerk will take the roll. Roll call machine showing nay. Three members voting yay. Three members voting nay. House Bill 321 is adopted. General Jackson, move the country. Mr. Speaker, clerk will take the roll. Jackson, General Elliott. Mr. Speaker, I move you, sir, that House Bill 7. Ladies and gentlemen of the House. House Bill 70 is a bill to amend Section 145 of the Kentucky Constitution to allow felony ex-offenders to have their right to vote restored. House Bill 70 is a bill that has four exceptions. For Jefferson County, Dave Stengel has testified before the committee, the elections of the Constitutional Amendment Committee each time. His statement is that once you have paid your full debt to society, your rights should be restored. You have to pay taxes. We expect everyone to be a good citizen. And if we're expecting all those things, we should do everything we can to bring people back into society as a full citizen. Mr. Speaker, I will conclude with those remarks. And if there are no questions, I will move the passage of House Bill 70. Those may take an option of House Bill 70. Is there discussion? Chair C, no, you're ready for the vote. Mr. Clark, sound the chime. Those in favor. Chair Eric Master, we need that gentleman from Garrett. Do you wish to speak on the measure? Chair Eric Master, gentleman from Garrett. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, when I was a little boy growing up, my daddy, he ran a general yeah. store. And it was in a heavy <laughs> farming community. And many of those people came in and and when they paid their bill, my daddy, when he came in and paid the bill, he marked that bill paid in full. And so if they went out somewhere else and did something else wrong, of course, they'd have to pay for it again. 
But we're supposed to be uh, trying to uplift people, and if we expect to rehabilitate people, and when they come out, uh, we should show them that, uh, that we want to bring them back to society if they would do the right thing. So I move past the bill. Thank you. Can all members vote if any member wish to change or explain their vote? All members voted. Clerk will take the roll. Roll call machine showing 83 members voting yay, 16 members voting nay. House Bill 70 is adopted. I'm on the front of the bed. Mr. Speaker, I move to the pleasure. Pleasure to have that objection. I'm on the rebellion. Mr. Speaker, with that, that concludes the orders of the